Did you know that light travels in a straight path until it comes in contact with an object? Last lesson, we learned how electric energy flows in a circuit. In this video, we will be learning how light rays travel and how they behave. When light rays come in contact with an object, they either get absorbed, bounce back, or pass from one medium to another. Light rays can either be absorbed, reflected, or refracted. When light rays bounce off of an object, we call this reflection. Objects with a smooth and shiny surface like metal, a mirror, and glass reflect light. Whenever light rays bounce off of an object, you can see a reflection. A line perpendicular to the surface may be drawn at the point of incidence where light rays are reflected. Sometimes, light rays are transmitted from one medium to another and pass through objects that are clear transparent, such as glass, lenses, and water. We call this refraction. When light rays are refracted, they're transmitted from one medium to another and they change direction because the speed of light changes. This causes objects to appear distorted. An example of this is when light energy is transmitted from air to water or to a glass medium. When light rays travel through air, they follow a straight path, but when they pass through water or enter a medium, their direction changes at the point of refraction because the speed of light slows down. For example, a prism is a uniquely cut piece of glass that refracts white light into its individual colors. When light energy passes through any type of lens, it is refracted. Some objects that refract light include microscopes, glasses, telescopes, and camera lenses. Light can also be absorbed by objects. When light hits an object and stops, it is absorbed. An example of this is when light energy from the sun hits a car. Some light rays are absorbed by the car, making it hot, while others rays bounce back. Objects that are white reflect more light than objects that are dark colors such as black. Rainbows are a combination of refracted and reflected light. When light rays strikes water molecules, some of the light is reflected while some is refracted. We can see this in a lake. Some light rays are refracted as they pass from the air to the water while other rays are reflected. This is why you can see a reflection in a lake, but you can also see how objects appear distorted inside the water. Let's review what we just learned. Light rays always travel in a straight path. Light rays can bounce back and be reflected in an object such as a mirror. Some light rays are refracted as they're transmitted from one medium to another, such as from air to water. Light rays can also be absorbed by objects. Dark colored objects absorb more light energy than white colored objects.